Hello everyone, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CBBNet video series on STL algorithms and this video is about copy n and copy backward. So the first point says about copy n function which is used to copy given number of elements from source to destination. So this is pretty clear that you will be copying n numbers from source to destination. It should not be very hard to understand this. So we have this from vector where we'll create this vector. So we have filled 0 to 9 because this vector size is 10 so we will fill from begin to end from 0 to 9 because it can hold only 10 elements so once this from vector is prepared we have two vector 1 there we will use copy n and from from vector from begin we are saying that copy 4 elements and insert into two vector 1 so it will take 0 1 2 3 and put it into two vector. So this is pretty clean that okay what you are doing but copy backward is little confusing. So this time I have taken vector 2 with 15 size and I am saying copy backward and this is the syntax. You will begin and end the whole vector of your source vector and you will give end of your destination vector because you want to insert from the backward. So it's not like it will reverse or something, no. It will start inserting from backside of your from vector to backside of to vector. Meaning it will take the last element of this one and put in the last here. And then it will go to the second last of this one and second last of this one and it will copy again this second last into this second last. And it will keep on happening until unless this guy reaches to the beginning of this from vector. So if you notice here, see our four from vector is of 10 size, but my destination is 15 size. So it will be very easy for us to understand what is happening. So let me just quickly print this. Hey guys, it's time for a quick pause. And what you're seeing right now is my Patreon page. So if you don't know what is Patreon, it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me. And in return, you get rewards. So if you join me, I can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and I'll still have something for you. So do visit my Patreon page and see if you like it. And if you want to discontinue anytime, you can do that. So if you have already visited my Patreon page, let's continue our video now. And executed. See, for first I said it will be copy only four from vector to two vector so 0 1 2 3 so there are four elements it copied backward did this it copied into the two vector but from back side so it is like for example if you have 1 2 3 4 and 5 and this is your source and let's suppose you have destination with some size let's suppose 0 0 0 0 and 0 and 0 Okay, so let's suppose you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 size in the destination and you have 5 size for your source. So if you are copying from here to here, meaning you will copy this 5 here first and then, sorry, 5 and then you will copy 4 and then it will be 3 like that, 2, 1 and it will copy nothing here. Okay. So this is how it will copy. So it will start from the back side of both from here and here. Okay. So it was little confusing in the beginning, but now it is clear, right? So there is nothing much in this video. So let's sum this up. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care.